indigenous people of biafra this nigerian government we reject further trial of onyindu mazi namdekano good morning good afternoon good evening lovely people lovers of freedom all over the world wherever you're joining us from today you're highly welcome to this wonderful youtube platform that gives you only quality news and information on all the matter where they are born for biafran territory please subscribe to this channel if you've not yet subscribed and make sure you turn on your notifications so that you can get notified whenever we drop our spanking news now straight to the issue of um you know the news uh, that um that i just um read the headline you know the issue of onyendo mazenam de kano has actually been you know a terrible issue you know when it comes to the part of the nigerian government in the way they've handled um the issue of onyendo mazenam de kano first of all you abducted you know onyendo mazenam de kano it was a it was a pure case of kidnapping that was the first crime that the Nigerian government committed against uh, humanity, against Onyedu Mazanam de Kano. Secondly, despite all said and done by international communities and other, you know, bodies who actually showed their interest on Mazanam de Kano's case, knowing fully well that the Nigerian government actually committed an international crime and warned the nigerian government in as much as you know they didn't do beyond the warning but at least they recognized the fact that the nigerian government committed a crime a heinous crime at that yet that one no do nigerian government they still went further to reject a court's ruling ruling in favor of onion dumazanam de kanu where a court of competent jurisdiction, you know, discharged and acquitted Onyendo Mazenam de Kano. Now, after the whole drama that Nigerian government have been committing, yet till today, the Nigerian government have actually continued to use the pattern of delay tactics to hold Mazenam de Kano in Comunicado. See, it has gotten to the level, to the level that, um, you know it it has to be a, a a national issue where the court needs to be threatened at this point in time not just threatening them but taking taking you know our stance on the issue of mazanam de kano just like the indigenous people of biafra have come out to take their stance and they've clearly dealt the nigerian government on the issue of mazanam de kano then don't come out they reject for that trial may they not try union do mazanam de kano again let them stand by their word of not being capable of trying mazanam de kano in nigeria since it, it is an international you know crime the crime was not committed in nigeria so to say so to say so to say because Namdekan did not commit any crime. He was not even abducted in Nigeria. It was in Kenya. I don't even see any reason why, you know, the trial should be ongoing in Nigeria in the first place. So this issue is actually a complicated one at that. But, but the reality is that I think the DOS have been actually quiet on the issue of um, Onyendu Mazanam de Kano. That is why, you know, the government feel they can just do in fact let me leave the issue of the dos because they've been disappointing the british has been quiet over the issue of mazanam de can why i'm bringing in the british in as much as they are so biased and they are even one of the major problems that we are experiencing today but assuming assuming the british actually stood their ground to defend their own citizen onion the mazanam the kanu first of all will not be still under the dss custody he would have been free because he didn't commit any crime but let's look at it from the angle of maybe he committed a crime which he did not commit he has no reason being tried in nigeria in the first place so if you look at it from every angle when you do not the mazanam the kanu has no business being in nigeria talk more of him um, in dss custody 
by now but let us give out the news make we hear within them um, you know um ipob you know ipob nigeria they talk um, concerning uh, the issue of onion domazanam the kanu the news reads in detail the indigenous people of biafra ipob on thursday rejected further trial of its leader Namdekanu over his agitation for the actualization of Biafra. IPOB spokesman Emma Powerful said the group stands by the appeal court's judgment that discharged and acquitted Kano of all terrorism charges. Powerful was reacting to the Federal High Court in Abuja's adjournment of Kano's trial scheduled to hold today, being Thursday, February 8, 2024. A statement by Emma Powerful reads, The global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, ably led by the great and indefatigable leader, Maze Namdekano, reject further court trial of our leader in the Nigerian court system. We stand by the judgment of the appeal court which ordered that Kano should not be tried again in any Nigerian court. The Supreme Court judges agreed with, agreed with them, but lacked the courage and integrity to uphold the appeal court judgment. The public should recall that the Supreme Court justices on December 15, 2023, sent the case of Kano back to the High Court in what was referred to as a compromised judgment. The same High Court, 5th February 8, 2024, to commence hearing on the unknown matter. Sadly, the same federal government that is persecuting Mazenam de Kano is refusing to make an appearance at the same Abuja High Court hearing on the 8th of February 2024. <clears throat> the refusal of the federal government to appear in court on that day for continuation of their kangaroo trial shows that they do not have a case against Maze Namdekano. The wicked and corrupt Supreme Court justices were part of the oppressors and prosecutors of Maze Namdekano. The indigenous people of Biafran leadership was reviewed, has reviewed the actions of Nigerian government and totally reject further trial of our leader in the High Court. The federal government of Nigeria, headed by President Ahmed Bola Tinubu, knew why his attorney general has cropped the commencement of their appearance for the boshed February 8. Abuja High Court trial against Maze Namdekano. They know very well that they have no case against him. They are just utilizing the weak and bastardized instrumentality of the law in Nigeria to detain and persecute him indefinitely. We continue. Emma Powerful went further to say, in his words, the indigenous people of Biafran family worldwide therefore rejects further court trial of our leader Maze Namdekano and demand for his immediate and unconditional release as well as the release of all other innocent indigenous people or Biafran members, Emma Powerful said. No amount of illegal abduction, detention, extrajudicial murder, and forceful disappearance will stop the quest for Biafran independence and the call for a referendum. Indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has come to restore Biafra, and it is either Biafra or Biafra. That is the oath of allegiance to the Biafran nation and our oath of honor to all those who have fallen in the cause of our march to freedom. This is what Emma Powerful is actually saying on this matter. Now, um, like I always be realistic, you know, when it comes to my analysis. Emma Powerful have actually, you know, sent their message to Nigerian government, which is good. But what 
are they backing up the mass the message with it is not about just sending message to nigerian government you need to do this you do not need to do this how are you backing up your message to the nigerian government nigeria is a stubborn country a country that tramples on innocent citizens it is a country where if you do not do anything you feel you know by just speaking mere speaking that things will be done it will never be done except you send a serious you know note and you the way you send notes to nigerian government is not just by mere words it's by action you must back up your message you know to the nigerian government with action before they go even look your side just like what prime minister simon Ekpa is doing today in nigeria nigeria is collecting woto woto from prime minister simon Ekpa, and that is why at the mention of that name security agencies you see them rallying around omo oma the day on guard every person is on guard nobody wants to be messed up because they know that the person that they are dealing is not a normal person this guy is not laughing with the nigerian government that is what i expect the indigenous people of biafran worldwide and their team to be doing at this point it is beyond sending mere message to the nigerian government people don't talk people don't tire you have rejected it what next what moves are you making put fear for these people body given to them woto woto naka me they know what's up mobilize people through your actions let the nigerian government know that you are not happy because they don't have anything against onyendo mazanam de kano realistically we know the only pattern they are using to hold mazan all these things all this delay they are even trying to run away from the case they don't even know what to do they do not have anything against him they just want to hold him dear as long as possible and as he stands Nam the Kanu is choking them. Nam the Kanu case is choking them. And if if time is not taken, because it has entered that level, you cannot continue to hold an innocent man and you want to have peace. There is no peace for the wicked, and the Nigerian government knows it. Thank you once again. Thank you for joining us on this wonderful YouTube platform. Do not forget. To continue to choose to choose our news platform to get updated news and information and also we urge you you know to support us in any way you can so that then um, we will be able to bring back um, the news every time you know back-to-back -back news and back-to-back -back information to our people thank you once again for joining us god bless you for staying tuned with us and continue to remain blessed as we continue to fight for the freedom that we all truly deserve.